When you visit a coral reef, it really highlights the fact that we live on this planet where we're all reliant upon each other for survival. You understand how that fish's survival is intrinsically linked to this coral's survival, and that's the way we all exist on this planet. Almost a billion people depend on coral reefs to survive. They are irreplaceable, and I simply don't want to be the generation that lets them go. There's an increasing frequency in these bleaching events, the warm water from the heating planet killing corals. There's an increasing frequency of diseases. There's an increasing frequency of the introduction of invasive species. If we do nothing, a lot of different species are going to go extinct. And we humans, as a species, are going to be the ones responsible for it. There's an opportunity to shift the slope of that and move it in the opposite direction and start to rebuild coral reefs around the globe. I am optimistic, the work that we're doing with Hope for Reefs and the unique ability that we have here at the Academy to make change in a global scale with coral reefs will come to fruition. In 10 years time, what we want is a world where coral reefs are healthy and thriving. What makes the Academy really unique is we have been doing this work for years and years and years. Our research division is a huge asset and we have a wide diversity of expertise in coral reef science. We have fantastic education partners that produce educational materials about reefs based on the science that we do. We have the largest, most diverse, most active deep reef diving team in the world. One of the things that's really exciting and happening here is we're breeding corals in our coral spawning lab. So we bring the corals back from the field, they reproduce here in the lab, and then we can try to figure out a way to have them recover quicker and better in the wild. The only way we can ensure that the work of protecting and caring for and regenerating the reefs continues is by forming meaningful partnerships with local collaborators. And very few institutions do that elsewhere in the world. I'm 100% convinced that if we find the right solutions for the right places, we can definitely reverse the problem. A healthy, thriving, regenerative coral reef ecosystem that looks like the people that live adjacent to it, caring for it and protecting it and enhancing it. It looks like a broader societal understanding of the relationship between people and nature, helping them understand that we're a part of nature. That's a great model for really moving the needle and, and reversing the decline of those ecosystems and protecting them for future generations.